Hey, hi, hello there. Welcome to C++ Code Answers. I'm Khumsa Ghanpekilia and please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to the channel. Also, click the notifications button so you're always updated on every new upload. Today, we're working a selection control structure problem. This is where we work with our if else statements and switch case statements. And our problem today raises thus. The grade level of undergraduate college student is typically determined according to the following schedule. The number of credits completed and the grade level. If the number of grades, if the number of uh, credits completed is less than 32, then you are a freshman. And if the credits are between 32 to 63, you are a sophomore. Credits 64 to 95, your grade level is junior. And lastly, if your credits completed are 96 or more, then you are a senior. Using the information, write a C++ program that accepts the number of credits a student has completed, determines the student's grade level, and displays the grade level. It's pretty much self-explanatory. What our program actually does is to prompt the user for their credits, and then it determines the grade level of the user looking at the credits and according to how they are on the table here. So let's open our IDE and start putting our thinking onto an IDE. We don't have any special library, no math functions or manipulating needed. Now to our main function. First, we declare all the variables that we'll use in the code. Looking at our problem, we see the problem prompts the user for the credits, which can be either a double or an integer, because it's not specified. But we are seeing integers here on the table, so we'll do it an integer. And we'll then be outputting the grade level which is a string. So this is the only variable we'll be using. So let's prompt user for input now. And now the output is condition based, such that there's an output for a specific case and one for the other. This is what tells us that we'll be using selection control structures. But how do we know which selection control structure we'll be using? Looking at our conditions, they are a range. Look at the first condition. It's a range from 32 to below. This can only be done with if else statements. A switch cannot hold a range. So now let's do the first condition. If less than 32, we'll see out at the grade level. Let's move on to the second condition. From 32 and less than or equals to 63. Because it's inclusive of 63. The first condition was exclusive of 32, so this is inclusive of 32. And we output the grade level. Let me copy this, I'll just change the grade level.
Now let me copy this hole. I'll make changes according to the specifications. From 64 to 95. And we'll output the grade level. Junior. Then finally, from 96 and upwards. And that's it. Let's close our main function now. And save the file. Compile it. Line 16 has an error. It should be greater than sign before the equal sign. And we did that the same way a couple of times. So let's fix that too. Try it with a number in the first condition range. 31. 31 credits is a freshman. Let's try 32, which should be a sophomore. And there. Now let's do a junior grade level credit. Eighty-eight junior. Triple eight is above ninety-six, so it's senior. We've solved our problem. Give yourself a pat on the back and a thumbs up. Remember that you can send in your problem questions to our email address. I love hearing from you. Nonetheless, that's all for me today, guys. See you on our next video.